Hi everybody, it's Ulrich Peiser with GuitarIngenuity.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Amazing Grace on guitar. But I'm not only going to show you one way with three different methods how to play that particular song. And those methods will allow you to adjust to the audience you're playing for. And um, it's going to be fun. So the first version I'm going to uh, going to demonstrate is basically the traditional way by using open chords, very basic guitar chords. The second way how to play that song will be uh, by by using power chords. So it's going to be a rockish type of version. Sounds very good on an electric guitar. And the third way is by using a guitar scale. Now don't worry, even if you don't know how to play guitar scales, it is so easy and uh, you will learn that in no time. So stay with me, we're gonna get started in a second. All right guys, are you good to go? We need three chords for this first version of Amazing Grace. The chords you need are fairly basic and if you don't know how to play them, then my um, on my website there is the Guitar Chord Bank and you can sign up for free and you, I'll teach you exactly how to play those three chords and many, many other chords. But the chords we need right now is a G major. You need a C major. And you need a D7. That's all you need for that chord, for the, for this particular song. Now, interestingly enough, this song is technically a waltz. So what you need to do is you need counts of three in order to make it sound right. So something like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just watch and listen. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So were you able to follow? I'm gonna hum along now and I got to warn you, my humming is horrible. It's absolutely um it's ridiculous, but you will be able to follow along with the song, okay? So let's do that slowly. And again, it's counts of three. And what you can do here is on the first count, like on the one, you can hit the bass strings only. And then on two and three, you can hit all the strings, something like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, that's too complicated, don't worry. Then just hit all the strings on on each count. So like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? So again, I'm gonna hum along now. One, two, three, na 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 na. So it's very, very easy. You All you need is those three chords. So you got that? One more time recap and then we move on. So G major, one, two, three, one, two, three. C major, one, two, three. Back to G major, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. D7, one, two, three, one, two, three. G major, one, two, three. One, two, three, C major, one, two, three, G major, two, three, one, two, three, D major, sorry, D7, one, two, three, G major, two, three, one, two, three. 
That's how you play it the regular way with open chords. Now, what we're going to learn next is the rock version. All right, so the rock version. What we're going to use for this one is power chords. We use the same chords, meaning a G. We need a C and a D, but all we're going to do is we're going to use power chords. Now, there's two ways to do that, if you will. If you want to keep your life very, very simple, just use two fingers per chord. So use a power chord. So put your index finger in the third fret on the low E string. Put your ring finger in the fifth fret on the A string. Now that's a G5, a G power chord, if you will. And now with your right hand, you gonna hit just those two strings. And if you want to, you can mute the strings with your palm to get this type of sound. Let me just move over a little bit so you see it better. Okay, so these are the chords you need. That's the G, and then you need the C, which is just the whole thing one string down. Same fret, so you see that? This is the G. Now the C is here. That's your index finger, third fret on the A string, and your ring finger, fifth fret on the D string. And then the D is move everything two frets over, index finger in the fifth fret on the A string, ring finger, seventh fret on the D string. So I'm just going to play it right now and then it will become clear. And again, now we want to make it sound a little bit more rockish, right? This is when you're not playing for your parents and, and grandparents, but for an audience where uh, this this type of, of sound might fit fit just better. So here we go. One, two, three. So you got that. I'm going to do it one more time slower. I'm sure, I'm sure it's pretty clear because if you know how to play power chords, you were certainly able to follow what I just did. So let's do it a little, one more time, a little slower. And again, I'm going to hum along a little bit. One, two, three, four. So that's the rock version. Again, practice that a little bit here, just the strumming and, and mute the strings to get that muted sound, sounds a little bit more uh, rock-like. So the last version I want to show you is by using parts of the um, G minor pentatonic scale. And we're going to keep that very, very brief. And even if you are not familiar with how to play scales, don't worry about it. Um, you don't need to know what a pentatonic scale is at this point. I'm just going to show you exactly where to put your fingers. And then you can just follow me. Let me just move my guitar around a little bit. And then um, you can see that even better. Now, I acknowledge it's a little bit more advanced, but again, even if you have absolutely zero knowledge as to how to play scales, you, you will be able to follow me. So you, I'm, I'm just going to play it one, more, one time and then uh, we cover everything in detail. So here we go. So... Here we go.
So again, one more time slowly. So I acknowledge, you know, sometimes um, people approach that song differently, obviously, and um, there are a couple of notes here in between that um, other people play differently, and that's perfectly fine. But I guess, in general, you were able to follow the melody. I hope... All right, guys, I hope you had fun. Now, if you don't know how to play any of the stuff that I showed you, then it might be a good idea to look into my Guitar Ingenuity Chord Bank. Access to that Chord Bank is absolutely free. You only need to open an account to log in to that uh, Guitar Ingenuity Chord Bank. But again, it doesn't cost you anything. And the three chords we just discussed in the first version of the song are part of that chord bank. So I will show you exactly what you need to do with your left hand and with your right hand to play uh, the three chords, but not only those three chords, but dozens and dozens of, of other uh, guitar chords. So again, sign up. It's the chord bank over at guitaringenuity.com. And if you're interested into a more comprehensive learning program to start learning guitar from scratch without any nonsense, then my beginner's guitar course might be the right choice for you. Very affordable, $69. You have full access to me as your teacher. In case you like my teaching style, I would be honored if you were to sign up. Again, it can be found over at guitaringenuity.com. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.